I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on intersection of lines and planes. The question here is, determine the value of k for which the following system of equations have line as a solution. Then part b is, determine vector equation of that line. System of equation is, let me rewrite them. So we have x plus y minus z equals to 1. The second plane is 2x minus 5y plus z equals to minus 1. And the third one is 7x minus 7y minus z equals to k. So first step, we need to find k so that point of intersection of these planes is a line. So what we're trying to figure out is that these are the three planes. This is something like this. They intersect at a line. So two planes will intersect at a line. The third plane also intersects at the same line. So it's kind of like this. Right? We need to find the value of k which can make it. So the idea here is we can solve these simultaneous equations. So I'll use the, the matrix way. So we have these three equations. So let me write the augmented matrix. Writing the coefficients of these equations, 1, 1, minus 1, 1. The second one is 2, minus 5, 1, minus 1. The third one is 7, minus 7, uh, minus 1, and k. So what we need to do is to get a zero here and a zero in this position to solve, right? To get this zero, we can always do R2 minus 2 times R1. And to get this zero, we can do R3 minus 7 times R1, correct? So first equation remains 1, 1, minus 1, 1. The second one, R2 minus 2 times R1. So we'll take up 2 from 2, 2 from minus 5, minus 2 from 1. So 2 from 2 gives us 0 here. So minus 2 minus 5 gives us minus 7. Minus minus becomes plus. So it becomes plus 2 plus 1, which gives us 3. So here when we do basically minus 2 and then add, so minus 2 and add minus 3. In the last case, we are multiplying this equation by 7, minus 7, and then adding. So minus 7 plus 7 is 0. Minus 7 minus 7 is minus 14. Minus minus becomes plus 7. Plus 7 minus 1 is 6. Right? And here, we get k. We are doing minus 7, so k minus 7. K minus. Now the idea is that oh, we need to get this value 0. Right? So we need to get this value 0. How can we do so? We'll copy the first two as such, which is 1, 1, minus 1, and 1. The second one, 0, minus 7, 3, minus 3. To get this 0, we will use R3, minus 2 times r2. Right? So this remains 0. 2 times is 14. When you take away, it becomes 0. So minus 2 times is 6. Minus 6 plus 6 is again 0. Here, when we multiply by minus 2, it becomes plus 6. So we get k minus 7 plus 6. Now, in the last equation, I mean in the last row, we have 0, 0, 0 equals to k minus 7 plus 6. Now for a line to be solution, right, that means one parameter, right, one parameter. Line has one parameter. 
this number k minus 7 plus 6 should be equal to 0 right so that gives you that k should be equal to 1 so for k equals to 1 only we'll get 0 equals to 0 that will be the solution is that okay so first part is find the value of k so we get k equals to 1 now let us do part 2 which is determine vector equation of this line of intersection now if k is 1 we get 0 here right so in that case the three equations will be the first one can be written as x plus y minus z equals to 1 the second one could be written as minus 7 y plus 3 z equals to minus 3 so these are the two equations to solve now to solve these equations what you can do is you have to assume a parameter right so so what we can do here is that we can write z as as a as 7t for example so if i write z equals to 7t the parameter 7 times t idea is to avoid fraction to avoid fractions do you see that i could use t also in that case what happens to this equation i get 7y let me take it to the other side 7y equals to 3 times i'm putting z is 70 plus 3 do you see that so y is equals to 21t plus 3 divided by 7 correct so which is which is 3t plus 3 over 7 so that is the value of y z is 70 now we can actually find the value for x using the first equation x is equal to 1 minus y plus z which is 1 y minus is minus 3t minus 3 over 7 and z is 7t so we'll do plus 7t so that gives you t's can be combined 7 minus 3 is 4 and the numbers can be combined 7 minus 3 so we have 7 minus 3 over 7 and here we have plus 4t right 3 minus 4 7 minus 3 is 4 right so we get 4 over 7 plus 4t so that becomes the parametric equation for the line right so we have equation of the line which we need to write in vector form so in vector form it could be written as let me highlight the equation first so we get this is the value of x right this is the value for y and z is 70 so from these values you can write down the vector equation as r is equal to the point is x is 4 over 7 right y is 3 over 7 z is 0 plus t x parameter is 4 y is 3 and z is 7 so that becomes the equation of line do you see that so that is how you can get equation of the line of intersection of these three planes so i hope the steps are absolutely clear so for k equals to 1 we do have a condition where all the three planes intersect in a line and the equation of the line will be vector equation as given here so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best